So we've had about a two week window here for this winter raptor survey and so that's an annual survey that uh, our biologists, uh, wildlife diversity biologist Mackenzie Jeffress and Elko coordinates. Our main goal for this winter raptor survey is to try to get a sense of the distribution of raptors around the state during the winter time. So today we're doing the Pyramid Lake route. The main um, objective is to drive a predefined route and uh, just keeping eyes peeled for raptors at all times. As soon as somebody in the vehicle sees a raptor, uh, if possible, the vehicle will stop. We record species, location, age. So essentially all of that data goes into our winter raptor database and right now we have almost 70 routes. Usually over 100 people participate in the survey in a given year. In western Nevada here we get a lot of red-tailed hawks, um, a lot of immature red-tailed hawks this year. That species makes up roughly 40 to 45 percent of the observations statewide. We also get a lot of golden eagles though. You know that species makes up about 10 percent of our observations. Another species that only spends the winter here is the rough-legged hawk. It's another one that breeds in the Arctic. What we've kind of learned over the years is there are a lot of raptors using this state in the wintertime and so it's really important for us to get a sense of you know different areas where they might spend a lot of time in different habitats that are important during that season. A lot of species use Nevada in the wintertime and so you know we really do have an obligation and, and a conservation objective to make sure that habitat exists and remains in good condition.